We just heard all about Steph Curry. Well, our next guest is a sports icon in her own right, who's still adding to her legacy. Yes, she is. We all know Serena Williams is fierce on the court with a record-setting 23 Grand Slam titles. But she also holds serve off the court, where her husband has called her the greatest mother of all time. Well, now Serena's teaming up with Pampers and posing a question to the parents out there. Do you have a wild child at home? Serena, <laughs> Serena Williams is uh, here with us. Hashtag third hour. Always good to have you. Thank this you. is it's nice. It's good to so be nice here. To see you. Yeah. So, um, speaking of wild child, I mean, you are a paid spokesperson for Pampers, but you can relate very well to this campaign of just letting your child go wild. Yes. Um, I love that my child is wild. I love that because it, for me, it's a different word. It's like wild is great. Why is wild a bad thing? Yeah. She's curious. She has fun. She's learning different things. And so for me, I love that she wants to explore and, and just kind of wants to be herself. Is it true Olympia skipped crawling and, and just went straight to walking? She kind of skipped crawling. Um, I mean, she crawled, but not long, yeah. like maybe a couple of days. And then I was at Wimbledon, and then she just went straight to walking. And I was so sad because I was oh. like, oh, I missed her. Um, but, you know, that's why, you know, I thought it was great for me to team up with Pampers because she's crazy. Like, she went straight <laughs> to running. She's wild. And I was like, this new Pampers 360 that they have, they literally are like a yoga pant for baby. Yeah. And honestly, she could be playing, and I could just be stopping her and just like put it on her yes. and then let her go about her way because she you know at this age they I get do. upset mm -hmm. about wearing you know diapers they don't want to do it as much and it's been great for her it's been a great partnership and it's been real because as a mom you know you really want to be able to send that message on and support mm -hmm. other moms and tell them when things are really wonderful and really great and these three pampers 360s are like beyond for mm -hmm. me it's so interesting to hear you say you know you were you were sad to miss that the first step I was actually covering the Olympics when I was worried my son was going to take his first steps. And it's it's just one of those things where he's still walking. So I to me there was always that first step that I got to experience yeah. for the first time, but it is hard to juggle that work home it's, balance. It's definitely hard, but then I talked about it and people were like, "Oh, don't worry, I missed my baby's first step." Mm -hmm. And you wouldn't believe how many people told me that. So yeah. then I felt like, "Okay, so maybe all those movies I see when the mom's on the left and the dad's on the right and the baby miraculously walks, maybe that's not yeah. real." No, you it's know? not real. So <laughs> and it's also someone said to me, well, "I've got a, a 5-year-old and a 2-year-old. It's not about quantity, it's about quality." Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's about quality yeah. time. Yeah. Uh, let's talk tennis while we have you here. Okay. I know last week you had to withdraw from the Miami Open because of the knee. How are we? How are we feeling? We're okay. I'm still recovering from that. Um, I have sadly was like, I was so upset when I had to withdraw. And then like two days in, I was like, hmm. no one's calling me because they expect me to be in the tournament. I actually have time off. <laughs> I'm not what? doing anything. And so I was enjoying time that. Off? I don't get time off. Yeah. So when I had to pull out of the tournament because of my knee, I was like, okay, what, what do I do now? Mm -hmm. So I, I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed those days off and just like. Now I'm back to training already, but mm -hmm. it was fun while it, it lasted. Fun, yeah. <laughs> we had uh, your husband on a month or so ago, Alexis, and my goodness, I mean, talk about a support system. He raves about you. He spoils you. I mean, the billboards he put up for you to just say you are the best mother. I mean, how... How did, does he top that? Does he try to top that? Or um, he's, It's just been so amazing to have him in my life and to have my daughter in my life as well. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, I love that. And just <laughs> he's done so much for the family and for us. And, and, you know, we just love. It's all new to me. My whole life I've been by myself mm -hmm. and with my family. And so then merging with a partner that um, is just as successful and, just as motivated and everything is mm. it's it's awesome and it's amazing mm. and um, it's been really really fun I was out uh, out west a couple of days ago talking to Steph Curry uh, great in his own right and we spent some time talking about his legacy and he said to me he tries not to think about it too much because when you start thinking about your legacy it's yeah. you know you're just like oh, okay well maybe I need to start thinking about retirement how much time do you spend thinking about your legacy? Yeah, little to none. That's so true because when you think about all the things that you've done and you, like, sit down and really meditate on it, it becomes overwhelming. You're like, okay, why am I... I don't need to do this anymore. Yeah. So then you just kind of start playing for the love of it. And so I believe if you think about it, you come too satisfied and too content and you lose motivation. And mm -hmm. so that's one of the reasons I never really lose motivation because I'm always thinking about what I want to do next, not about what I've done already. What do you want to do next? Well, obviously, I want to keep playing, um, or else I wouldn't be training. <laughs> 
but I definitely want to keep playing and um, see what's next. Obviously, Grand Slams are what's most important to me. So it was really close last year, you know, so close, but literally just back from having the baby. And looking back, I don't know how I, I did that. <laughs> I don't know how you did that either. A lot of folks don't know how you did it. <laughs> and I had the audacity to be upset when I didn't win. And I'm like, why am I angry? This is, like, beyond amazing. Yes. So, um, but, yeah, it's, um, I have a better better shot now that I'm, you know, but we'll see. I'm just taking it one day at a time. How's Quay Quay? Oh. <laughs> we should tell She's folks great. who Quay Quay is. We have a lot of things in Quay store. Quay Quay, right Quay is Olympia's doll. Um, <laughs> we have a lot of fun things coming up for Quay Quay, which we're really excited about. Um, She's cool. She helps me with my tennis. She carries my balls. <laughs> she goes through security sometimes. Um, That's she hilarious. was injured for a while. Um, but she got better. But Quake back. Yeah, Quake Way's back. She's on set, it looks like. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. We didn't oh, have with, her here. With, with she, Alexis. Came, she came with yeah. Alexis. Yeah. So yeah. She was very so. well behaved. So good to have you. <laughs> Thank you. It's good to be here. So good to have you. you. Come back anytime, yeah. okay? And good luck with everything. Thank you.